Hi, welcome to Supper for a Song. I'm Mara Norris and I'm a voice teacher who does not have a lot of time or money to spend on dinner, but I love to eat healthy, elegant meals. So today I'm going to show you how to make this great pork roast. This is my special recipe. So I'm just going to get a little bit of unfiltered apple cider vinegar in there, a little bit of healthy canola oil, a little bit of soy sauce for just a touch of salt and flavor. We have some brown sugar for just a little bit of sweetness. Got some crushed garlic there. You don't even have to worry about chopping it. Just throw it on in there. Got some nice whole grain mustard. And these are all ingredients you probably have in your fridge or your cupboard. And I picked some nice fresh rosemary from out of my garden. Got it in the house. Doesn't cost me nothing. And this is my secret ingredient here. This is called a muscadine ketchup. I got this at my local farmer's market. If you don't have any of this, you could probably substitute a nice uh, plum sauce would be good in that too. And I'm just going to get this all into a Ziploc bag. Make sure and seal it up nice and tight so you get, don't get your dress a mess. <laughs> and then just give it a little massage. Toss it in the fridge and then you are ready to cook it up. Alright, I have my oven and my pan all heated up. So I'm just going to sear the outside of my pork roast. Oh yeah, that sounds and just smells incredible. Now that I have a nice good crust on the outside of my roast, I'm going to insert a thermometer into the thickest part of it, and that's going to go into the oven, and then the thermometer is going to tell me when it's ready, and I don't even have to worry about it. Check out that beautiful caramelization on top of that roast. So my beautiful pork roast has rested just long enough where the juices are not going to run out, so I'm going to give it a nice slice. And it's the perfect temperature. It's going to be nice and juicy. I'm going to get this onto my plate with some crispy roasted broccoli and some truffle grilled potatoes. So now it's time to sit down and enjoy my fabulous pork roast dinner, and I just have to give it a try. This pork, mmm, is so tender, juicy, and it's got the perfect blend of sweet and savory, and you can do this any night of the week. Join me next time on Supper for a Song. Cheers.